This is a jet boil. This is a skillet by MSR. This is the Grail water purifier. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I'm taking them backpacking. What's going on everybody? My name is Dan Becker. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, so I am hopefully going to inspire you because in 2021, I met two people that comple <laughs> completely, hang on, completely inspired me. I thought I was going on trips to inspire them, but the polar opposite happened. They inspired me. So let me just tell you who they were. First person is a guy named Chef Corso. So uh, he and I went on a backpacking trip where he invited me out and I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna go out and do my thing, get a backpacking trip in and meet a guy and make a video. Man, was I wrong. This guy is a professionally trained classical, <laughs> classic, he is a classically trained professional chef and that's what he does for a living. And his specialty is backcountry cooking. So. Right then and there, uh, you're talking to a guy who eats freeze-dried meals and dehydrated meals, and literally that's it, and I don't even know how to cook anything outside. So, total inspiration. The second person that uh, inspired me was a guy named Eric Hansen, who I just backpacked with uh, about a month ago in South Dakota. Um, and the reason this guy inspired me was because of this right here. There were several evolutions in uh, in the journey of Eric Hansen as a, as a backpacker and camper. One was just using those Z-Lights for years and years and years, just was sure that uh, sleeping with, you know, half dead legs as they would just uh, kind of rot away on that uh, little bit of padding and just being miserable was just, that was the backpacking experience. And until I actually started getting some nice mattresses, uh, because I was spending 200 nights a year. Uh, on 200? 200 nights a year. I was used to be a guide um, and. 200 nights a year. What? Take that through hikers. So Eric was a former guide and when he told me that he backpacked and hiked 200 nights a year, um, right then and there, like legitimately, I my first thought was, holy cow, I need to pay attention to everything that's happening on this trip because where I thought I was gonna provide inspiration, it was happening the opposite way and I knew that I needed to pay attention to learn a few things because I was with a guy who really knew what he was talking about. So out of that trip, uh, I came home and uh, out of the trip with Steve, the chef, I came home and I bought these three gear items because I was totally inspired. Now, I can already hear you ultralighters groaning. You're dying on the inside like a piece of you has just been ripped out of your soul because you cannot believe I just bought a jet boil and the Grail water purifier or a skillet I'm gonna bring with me. Like, why would you do that, Dan? Well, because the people that I was with, they're not ultralighters. They don't really weigh their gear very much and they never complained about their gear being heavy one time and they backpacked just fine and myself included. I really don't weigh my gear anymore either, at least when it's all packed up. I weigh it individually, but when it's all packed up, I don't remember the last time I weighed my backpack. I just kind of pick it up and go, yep, and I go on my trip and I'm totally fine. Uh, but that's just because I've been doing it a long time and I kind of know uh, what I'm capable of doing. So let's just talk about why these three pieces of gear. Okay, so you got the jet boil here. Now the jet boil, if you don't know what it is, you've been living under a rock, I'll just tell you, it's been around forever. It's a super fast, all-in-one cook system. Uh, I think for you jet boil users, you'll tell me this. Um, I think this is like not just a measuring cup, but I think this is actually a cup that sort of comes with it and you can use it as like a separate cup. But then this down here, or wait, hold on. <laughs> you gotta take off the top. I've never even used it. Uh, this top here also has a strainer and like an area where you can sip out of. Um, it comes with a stand where you would put like the gas can in, uh, so it kind of stops it from tipping over, kind of cool. Uh, and then it comes with this pot stand that you don't need necessarily, but if you want to like use a skillet, huh? So the stove goes on the bottom here like this. <laughs> I got a gas canister here. Um, screws on the bottom like this. Oh, look out. And then this is the stand for the gas canister. There we go, okay. So that's in there now, it's nice and sturdy. And then you can, you know, cook your water or food or whatever you wanna put in there. You can make a meal in here, mac and cheese, ramen, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna just use like the pot stand, you can just go like this, I think. Uh, again, I'm not very good at this, so okay. I think that's right. And now you've got like a stove to cook your 
stuff on a skillet. I bought this because Steve totally inspired me to enjoy my meals. I, I, I kind of feel like so many times I eat and I'm just ready to get on with the next thing. I don't enjoy it. I don't take time to enjoy it. And sitting there with him cooking and seeing what he was capable of making, wow, it was just absolutely incredible, the things that he was able to make. So totally inspired. And then with Eric, okay, Eric, who inspired me to purchase this. This is the Grail water purifier. Yeah. Oh, wait, what are you, wait, wait, what, what? That's not a typical water. Tell us about this water bottle. <laughs> Oh, this isn't typical to you? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe, it feels typical to me, but that's because I've been using this for like two years. Okay. This is the Grail uh, GeoPress. So I've had a ton of people tell me about this yeah. and like, Dan, you've got yeah. to you've gotta, you gotta oh. check this out. Yeah. A water filter filters bacteria and protozoa. That's it. A water purifier also filters viruses. So that's the difference right there and this is something that you could take internationally if you wanted to uh over in countries where there may be viruses that your body isn't capable of handling you just take the top off like this and you scoop the dirty water here once the dirty water's in there you kind of put it like this you got to unscrew the top just a little bit so that lets a little air out so it's got air flowage uh, and then you just push it down like this and it filters the water and then you take the top off, you drink, or you pour it in your pot, you pour it in a water container, whatever you wanna do, and you get on your way. Now this is the ultralight version of the Grail. Uh, this one weighs about 10.9 ounces or so. The regular Grail water purifier weighs about a pound, and that's why I went with this one. A Little less capacity, it's not the one Eric had, but um, I, I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Look, if a guy who's been um, backpacking for as many years as Eric has, doing it for 200 nights a year, uses this, there's something to it. As a matter of fact, there's something to all of this gear because there is a reason that companies are selling uh, gear like this and people are still buying it, using it, and enjoying it and loving it. Let me just tell you where I got this, where I get almost all of my gear is at Backcountry. The reason I tell you guys to buy at Backcountry is because they have what are called gearheads. The gearheads are individuals, guys and girls, who are former Olympians, athletes, trail guides, and they actually know what they're talking about. So, like, you try to comment on my videos, right? You send me emails, you send me Instagram messages, and you're asking me questions. You're like, Dan, what do I do here? Which one should I buy of this? There's no way I can get to everybody. So I'm sending you to a place where I truly have confidence in these people to give you good information of the stuff that you're looking for. They gave me a coupon code. It's DANB15, 15% off your first order. Some exclusions do apply. Try it out, hopefully it could save you a couple bucks. I was inspired by some people. Hopefully I've in turn inspired you a little bit to maybe think outside of the box and try out some different styles even. Get around people who are doing things better than you and they will inspire you. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more, hit the bell notification so that I can send you a video every time it's released. Hit me up on Instagram and I'll see you on the next one.